Hey, what's up guys, Tiki Box here, and in this Overbox video, I want to showcase my favorite hero in Overwatch at the moment, D.Va. Now, D.Va's a tank class hero, but I don't like to play her on the front line like I play other tanks. I like to play her as more of a backline distraction, and I'm going to show you some of that in this video. Now, this is where you want to be when you're playing D.Va, right at the back. I'm sitting right by the enemy spawn point. This is Dorado, and I'm playing defense, by the way. Now, I'm just causing a distraction making sure people aren't sitting on that payload or pushing it forward just getting the enemy off peeling them off the point using my rocket boosters ability which has a five second cooldown to fly around the map now this five second cooldown makes sure that you can boost your way around the map frequently if you thought pharaoh was the fly girl in overwatch you'd be wrong it's diva and when you die you just eject from your mech and you you can go you, you get this awesome pistol that you can shoot with this is probably my favorite weapon in the game. I just wish they'd make a hero centered around having a gun like this as their main weapon. So you do damage with your pistol and it charges up your core Mac and now I'm back in the mech. Now I'm going to drop my ulti on the point and I'm going to push them all off of that payload. It's getting harder and harder these days to get kills with this ulti uh, because people have gotten wise to how deadly it is and the area of effect. So when you drop your ulti people usually just run away. But if you put it on the payload, people, I mean, you push them off the point. If they run away or whether they stay around and die, you push them off the point. Your job is done. You can probably do some sweet combos with uh, a Mei or a Zarya with D.Va's ulti. Um, but yeah, you need to find a team. This is a pug match. You need to find a team that's going to work with you. Now, you're going to see the power of the pistol here. Farah's in there. She's going to ulti. I'm just going to melt her with my pistol. This pistol does so much damage. I just love this weapon. Do damage with your pistol. Charges up your core mech ability. And I'm back in the mech. Ready to do some damage to the back line. So I'm just going to push Junkrat away here. But I've noticed that they've pushed the point forward. So I'm going to try and peel them off the payload here. It doesn't go in my favor this time. But I did manage to peel Zarya off. And she's going to chase me. I'm just going to melt her with that pistol. Pick up a health because I know where it is. And I hear Junkrat's ulti. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna melt him. Melt him with his pistol. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get him before he exploded his rip tire. But I'm back in the mech. Ready to cause some more chaos. Now, in my opinion, D.Va is one of the highest skill heroes in the game. Uh, for a couple of reasons. She's... Um, you need to know the layout of the map. Knowing the layout of the map is very important. That was actually <laughs> quite lucky. Roadhog didn't get me there. Um, knowing the layout of the map is very important when you're playing any hero. But being able to use your surroundings to your advantage with D.Va. I mean, with D.Va's very, very mobile with her booster's ability. Knowing how to use the layout of the map to your advantage. Jump in, deal damage for 5 seconds, boost out, find a health pack, boost back in... Uh, make cause a distraction it's that's what sets a good diva apart from a great diva now here I am the other point, the other reason why I think diva is such a high skill here is because as I don't know if you noticed there I wasn't able to chase Reaper because when you're firing your fusion cannons your movement speed turns to shit so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna fly and boost and I'm gonna focus on a more imminent threat that was the Junkrat take out Roadhog there but just watch when I fire the fusion cannons. My movement speed turns to shit. And then, ah, um, McCree took me out. So, I'm going to get my revenge later. He's going to get his. So, now I've got my ulti. I, I can see they're pushing the payload forward. So, I'm just going to jump in. Leave my mech there to explode. I'm going to peel people off of that payload. Managed to kill Reaper this time. Uh, he wasn't able to get out quickly enough. But I, I pushed them off. Watch this. Rip tire to the face. Shrug it off, fly in and go find a health pack. Um, you can you, you can take a lot of ultis like that to the face. Uh, Tracer's Sticky Bomb is another one. That Rip Tire, as you just saw, can take it to the face as long as you're around high health, full health with your mech. And if they manage to kill you with it, you, you, you get ejected. And you've got this 150 health isn't much, but it's enough for you to run away. And this is also where knowing the map comes in handy. Like when, when they when they kill my mech, I like to just run backwards 
I know the layout of the map so I can run through the alleyways while shooting at them with my pistol because as long as I'm doing damage to something with my pistol I'll be able to call my mech and get back into the fight again. So I'm just gonna sit here, peel them off of this payload, that's, that's all you really need to do and that's why I love playing defense with D.Va. Uh, attack is a different story but I just love especially this map playing defense. So I peeled them off the p payload, I'm going to go find some guys in the back line, I'm going to pick up that health because I know if I come around back this way, there's that health that's going to be there waiting for me. Take out the healer, that was quite lucky to find her on low health, and I'm going to push this Pharaoh away. I'm just going to push her away. My movement speed, I can't chase her when I'm shooting at her, but I can, I can deflect some of the bullets. She just used the ulti there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go find some health. But I can see the McCree. There's the McCree. I'm gonna go get my revenge. I'm gonna go make him pay. I don't manage to save our Junkrat. And if McCree knew the layout of the map a bit better, he probably would have been able to get away from me. But luckily for me, he didn't. Now I've got my ulti. It's almost the end of the match. They're pushing the payload, so I'm just gonna peel them off. I'm gonna make them run away. And as soon as my ulti explodes, I'm back into the mech ready to go do some more damage pick up a health probably should have stayed there I was actually on quite high health I probably didn't need to boost away but it's fine we're in overtime now and I just need to peel them keep people off of this payload times a ticking times a ticking another kill McCree's gonna come around this corner he's gonna use his, his high noon oh but dead I, pro I probably could have protected my team from that with um with my E ability, but it was on cooldown. And there we go, easy as that. Now I just want to show you a, a clip or two here of, um, the first one is how to charge your core mech with your pistol. Now, now I've noticed if you're shooting at a shield, like I'm shooting at Reinhardt's shield there, my core mech ability isn't charging up. But as soon as I start damaging around, he's gonna lower his shield now, watch how quickly it charges up when I start hitting him. Boom, 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 boom. See that? charges up super quickly if you're hitting somebody but it doesn't charge if you're sh if you're hitting a shield like Reinhardt's shield um, unfortunately I was clicking but I, I didn't manage to get it now watch this watch me lead the shots with this pistol to get junk rat you gotta lead your target with this pistol it's so satisfying when you get that and <laughs> that was a bit of a silly death I didn't see that trap lying on the floor there now watch this play I'm going to take out the Zenyatta because Zenyatta is a very, uh, he's a strong counter to D.Va if he gets that Orb of Discord on you. Now Hanzo was busy focused on somewhere else. I'm going to drop my ulti to push people off of that payload and I'm going to cause a distraction. I'm back in my mech and I've got Hanzo on me now, now Roadhog's on me. They're going to take me out of my mech but it's fine. I'm just going to kite them around the map. I'm doing damage with my pistol to Roadhog. It's going to charge up my, my core mech back in the mech. Now I've got four guys on me. Four of them shooting at me. Yeah, they take me out pretty quickly. I'm butter in this mode, but watch this. Rip tire. Quad kill. Junkrat's rip tire just comes in and takes all four. And I was that distraction. I was the one causing that distraction to have four of them on me so Junkrat's rip tire could come in and take them out. Thanks for watching my video guys, subscribe to my channel for more Tiki Box, leave a like if you liked the video and also leave a comment in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of the video and also let me know which hero you think I should do in the next Overbox episode. That's it, thanks for watching, love and peace and I'll see you in Overwatch.